The Artificer campaign is uncontestedly the most poorly designed, miserable experience I've had the displeasure of far, having in the entirety the of my time with this game. underwhelming campaign for a first time player that I've experienced yet. For fuck's sakes, I don't get it. Why are there so many people painting Artificer in such a negative way? Sure, it can get annoying at times, but how are people funding the entire campaign not fun? Actually, I could make my own review, play the Artificer campaign, and... Oh wait, I'm way too good at Artificer combat. <laughs> Almost forgot. Then what can I do? Ah, I can ask someone else who has less experience. Are, uh, yes, this will still be an artificer review. Kind of. This video is more of a anti-artificer review, artificer review. Or in other words, making fun of people who talk shit about artificer by talking good about artificer. Now, I don't know how else to put it, but do know that it's going to be Parrot player playing, not me. You can imagine Parrot being Artificer and I'm uh, her overseer, I guess. So there will definitely be two me's. If you will see subtitles on the bottom, then it's going to be the other me, past me, overseer me. Okay, with that out of the way, let me tell you why Artificer is actually f Oh, right, the scarf. Oh, Alright. Please ignore the scarf. Before I get into why Artificer is fun and such, I will tell you where Artificer fails. Namely, in the introduction to Artificer. In the first minute of the Artificer campaign, your rivalry with the scavengers is immediately established, and you are told you can create explosive spears, grenades, and perform explosive jumps. That's it. Having given enough information to survive, but on bare minimum. So what does it lack? Oh, you know, we are half of the Artificer combat, or in other words, the Concussive Blast. Concussive Blasts can help keep you in combat, parry incoming projectiles, and 9 times out of 10, even avoid death. Another thing they've left out was crafting lanterns and cherry bombs. You're only given instructions on how to make spears into explosive spears and rocks into grenades. Okay, maybe it would have been a bit out of place to tell the player that they can craft more stuff out of materials that aren't even there, but at least they could have told how to craft lanterns once the, once the player has entered Shaded Citadel. For the cherry bombs, fuck, I don't know, I guess it's a good thing they didn't say anything about cherry bombs. Feels like they allowed the creation of cherry bombs out of that fly lures, so some nerds don't point fingers as to why Artificer can craft cherry bombs. Okay, one last thing before I move into the good stuff. Scavenger kill squads. And I know, I know, you jumped forward in time and you're now saying, but aren't you going to say that later that scavengers make Artificer's combat fun? And yes, I will, but hear me out. There are sometimes way too many scavengers in one kill squad, from 3 up to 5 or 6, fuck, I don't know, I just killed them immediately. For more experienced artificers, it isn't going to be a very big deal. But for the fresh flesh, it can be overwhelming, considering the fact that they most likely don't know how to perform a concussive blast. <laughs> and I believe that is where all the hate from artificer comes from, from the overwhelming amount of scavenger combat. But my math teacher once told me, Someone who doesn't care about something will make excuses, but someone who cares about something will make solutions, or, or something like that. So, since I care about the campaign, and like some god forbid me from speaking, I have a solution. In the first few cycles, some of the amount of scavengers in the kill squad be two, I guess, and slowly increase the amount either by cycles or by scavenger kills, or by per region visited, and let the maximum amount of scavengers be nine. For example, in the first two cycles, there will be two max scavengers per kill squad. Ten cycles later, it will be four max scavengers. We're doing by scavenger kills. I've killed five scavengers, so the max amount will increase to three. I've killed a total of 20, max amount increased to five. Or do it per regions visited. I visited only two regions, therefore the max amount is three. I've visited every region, so the max amount is now nine. You get the idea. These are just suggestions. Okay, now it's time to talk about the good stuff. So, what does make Artificer not like the other girls? Well, she is one of, if not, the most agile slugcat in the game. The explosive jump allows Artificer to get to places in seconds, which could possibly take a lot of time for other slugcats. Paired with the concussive blast, it makes her a perfect tool for murder. But there's a cavi caveat. But there's a caveat. She has limited charges. 
10 charges at max. Constant use of explosive jumps or concussive blasts will result in getting stunned, and later, death. Okay, cool, you're a child of war, but who are you going to fight against? I mean, there's gotta be something that would balance her combat, like a creature or some major downside, or... Yeah, okay, I'm just drawing shit out. Trust me, I can talk about scavengers for hours on end. My personal beef with scavengers is harder to comprehend than... Fuck, I don't know, there's nothing even close to it. But for now, I'll talk about the main mechanics. Namely, kill squads. Again, let me explain what kill squads are. Scavenger gangs appearing out of nowhere trying to kill you. Anyways, the main reason why I am talking about scavengers is because most people say that it isn't fun to fight against them and that it's annoying and irritating. And there is some truth to that, but I don't think it's a problem in the scavengers themselves. I think it's a problem in how they view scavengers. Okay, let's talk about another game. Bear with me, it will all make sense in a minute. Helldivers 2. The game contains two enemy factions, currently, the Terminids and the Automatons. The Terminids are many, less armored, and most importantly, mostly melee enemies. Meanwhile, the Automatons are armored and ranged enemies. Therefore, Automatons are harder than Terminids. Same thing with Rain World. You can imagine every other species except for Scavengers to be Terminids. Scavengers are more or less automatons. Okay, but why is the Rain World community crying about scavengers more than this Helldiver community about automatons? Well, I believe that it's because we're a bunch of fucking liberals. That it's in the understanding that one is different from another. For the Helldivers, it is clear that the Terminids are different from automatons. Meanwhile, in Rain World, players put scavengers on the same level as lizards, vultures, centipedes, and so on. Scavengers will never be on the same difficulty as lizards. Once you understand that they are not the same difficulty level, you can now view scavengers with, well, no shit, they're going to kill me, and hopefully be less annoyed. Now, I know I didn't convince too many people with this, so before I talk about the next point, I have one more thing to say, a question to ask. If not scavengers, then how would you balance Artificer? No, I'm, I'm genuinely curious, how else would you balance Artificer while keeping it fun? Seriously, leave a comment or DM me on Discord or something, I don't know. Anyways, what's on Artificer right now? Mm, pretty good story. I mean, it's weird, but dying just makes me happy, and I don't know why. There is no drawback for dying. If you have died or hibernated at least once as Artificer, you can see what I mean. You are locked at level 1 karma, and the only way to increase it is through echoes. Your life is an experiment. In case other slugheads didn't encourage you enough to learn them, Artificer surely will. And if you will resist, you will suffer. Got a problem? Just bang your head against the wall until you solve it. The main point of banging your head against the wall, I repeat you, is learning. Those mistakes of yours aren't there to define you. They're there for you to learn from them. You're kind of discouraged to try and speedrun or progress through the game really quickly in the first place. I mean, you think about it. You are locked at the lowest karma possible, and you are forced to carry this lump of shit to go through gates. Of course, it isn't a national tragedy, but, you know, compared to other slugheads, you are only being waved a good luck. Alright, our official review over. If you came here just for the review, then leave. Scram. Okay, everyone left? Okay, good. Now, I want to squash some complaints, if you will, that I hear from some of these Artificer reviews. I will go over three more points that I've heard from this guy. If you want to see what he has to say about this amazing best slug hat to have ever been made, I will leave his Artificer review in the description. Now, and please don't go harassing him. Everyone has their own different ideals, opinions, and whatnot, and blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. But the game's combat system is not at all designed to make fighting a large number of enemies at once enjoyable. You are Artificer. The explosive jump and concussive blasts is all you need. If you're fumbling under pressure, just hum along to some song that you know. If you're constantly dying, well, I don't know how to put it, but get good. The fight with the King of the Scavs is not difficult or interesting. Killing him didn't really feel like it was a challenge I'd overcome. I was just kind of like, oh. That's it. A few spears to the belly to get rid of his armor, a few hits to the head once he was there, and it was over. There's a thing with the King Scavenger, where if it doesn't see any nearby spears, it will just give up, so you got kind of lucky there, I will say. Or if that didn't happen, then I think you were playing with the music.
the lesson Artie's run represents after everything's said and done is that violence begets violence, that there are no winners in war, and revenge what, is what not the What the fuck answer. is he just talking about? This isn't like even about so artificer anymore. Oh, 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 okay, I think I understand why people hate Artificer's campaign. It's because they're hippies. They do not let their blood first take control of them. I see it now.